Hello and welcome to Solution Code. In this video series, we will learn about Bootstrap 4 and all the basics required to uh, master Bootstrap 4. As I have received lots of uh, requests from all over the globe to make videos on Bootstrap 4, this video series is for you guys. So let's start. Uh, Bootstrap 4 basically is the newer version of Bootstrap which is most popular HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework for developing responsive and mobile first website. And secondly, the Bootstrap 4 is completely free to download and use. Uh, also, Bootstrap 4 comes with new components, faster style sheet and more responsiveness but uh, there is some drawback if you want your application to run on internet explorer version 8 or 9 then you must use bootstrap 3 because bootstrap 4 supports all the latest releases of majorly all the browsers and platforms however it does not support internet explorer version 8 and 9 or below that those versions are hardly used by any of the users but if you want to consider that you will use bootstrap 3 and not bootstrap 4 so in this video we'll start with bootstrap 4 installation how to install it and how to use it basically in the web pages so let's start the tutorial let's go on google and type bootstrap 4 so basically it is going to take me let's open the first link see what we get and here it is showing me version 4.0 and on the top hand side it is showing there is a newer version of bootstrap 4 let's click on that okay so this is version 4.3 which is selected by default and it is showing me that it is a stable version because if it would would have been an alpha version or beta version so they bootstrap has a habit of mentioning it here right itself so whenever we are going to use bootstrap make sure that it is a stable release no matter it is 4.0.0 or 4.2.1 but it should be stable release now uh, this is the latest 4.3.x so i'm just selecting that okay so it took me to the page of documentation uh, basically what I'll do is I'll just show you how to download and set up. So I'm just clicking on downloads. So there are two ways we can have bootstrap installed. Basically we can download all the resources locally and then we can link all the resources required to run bootstrap 4 or else we can use the CDNs provided by bootstrap itself to save time. But both of the steps have their own pros and cons uh, basically if in case uh, you are using all the down uh, all the cdns in your web page and you are just running it or uh, making some applications locally and uh, by because of some reason there is no internet connections then your files or your code may not run properly because cdn requires internet connection to download uh, the resources so if you are in the development phase I will recommend that we should download all the resources and we uh, we should use in that way and when we are uh, rolling up to production or making everything live on the server at that time we can change the links uh, from the downloaded links to the CDNs so that is the best practice I follow so you can also uh, follow that same so here uh, when you click on the introduction there is a starter template you just need to copy this template okay so let's first make the project uh, I will use my C drive XAMPP HDDocs to make it and I will call it bootstrap 4 so this is my project what I'll do is I'll open my sublime text editor okay 
I will remove all the existing projects because I don't need it and I will just open this bootstrap 4 which is newly created folder and I will just make a new file I'll call it index.php okay and I, uh, as I have copied all the starter template code I'll just paste it here okay and I will try to access the same link from uh, from the browser but as I have used uh, .php extension basically it will require the server to run the code so this is up to you guys uh, if you want to run it on the server you can turn on your XAMPP or RAMP or any LAMP technologies and you can run it on the local host I am using Apache XAMPP oops I made a mistake uh, okay I missed T here okay so it looks pretty fine right now uh, by seeing the font styles and font weight I can say that bootstrap 4 has been installed successfully on this page if I go to the console area I cannot see any of the errors so it is very simple to install bootstrap 4 on any of the web pages if you are using CDNs so this is a step one using CDN if you want to download the resources and install it we can follow this process again we'll go to the download we'll hit the download button right here compiled CSS and JS files I will just take the zip file from here cut it and I'll just paste it on my project bootstrap 4 and I'll just paste the zip here I will just extract the zip I will do a cut here and I will make a separate folder for assets again the directory structure maintaining is up to you this this is what I follow and I'll remove all the unused or not required things so it, the directory structure looks cleaner now instead of this CDN link what I'll do is I will I have my locally installed assets so it's inside my assets folder inside CSS bootstrap .css, and I'll remove integrity and cross origin similarly what I'll do it here I will do the same thing here assets and this is inside okay basically this is not yet downloaded I have just downloaded bootstrap does not comes with this two files so we need to install it uh, separately so just a second I'll just asset okay I think so so here I can see that it's asset and I'll remove these two things pretty simple right now when I reload the page again it, it should not show me any of the errors but uh, currently still we are using two of the CDNs so I'll just click on those two CDNs and I'll try to store it locally so those who don't know how to store it just you need to open that link in the new tab and just click Control S and just select the folder where you want to, to download that resource bootstrap 4 assets js and just popper.min.js similarly there is slim.min.js itself here I'll just save it here okay now I just need to change the CDN to the absolute link assets slash JS okay and here also I will change to assets slash JS also I need to remove the integrity and cross origin okay. 
like this and if I try to run the page it should not show me any of the errors in console uh, and it should work fine so I hope uh, you have understood how to install bootstrap 4 on any of the web pages and those who know bootstrap 3 it's a good thing to start with bootstrap 4 but those who do not know bootstrap 3 and they are watching my video of bootstrap 4 guys there is no need to learn bootstrap 3 for starting bootstrap 4 both are different and we will start it from the scratch so you can just be updated with this technology just follow this video's tutorial properly and you would master it thank you for watching guys hope you like subscribe and comment below if you have any doubt don't forget to press the bell icon so that you are updated with all of my updated contents thank you